Hello everyone. <laughs> hey, Peter Abio, you see they donate money up and that Peter Abio don't go donate another 20 million era to boost nursing education. Peter Abio, presidential candidate of the Labour Party on Sunday, January 21st, 2024, visited the College of Nursing Sciences Amichi and School of Nursing I I I I Hospital Ogidi, where he presented checks to them can you be that peter be that they are teaching lesson you don't agree you don't agree learn their lesson they go on they do your own lesson hey um, this is this, this is <laughs> hey we will show the people that said they will show peter be they are not the ones who are crying up and down no they are not the ones who are crying up and down that they are moving cbn and faan no, not that elders have been running around like like headless chicken. The people be they say they want to teach less. Now when they go around, they doing thing. And he presented each institution with ten million naira each. Ah 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 ah. Um, see people, see something. <laughs> ah, oh no, best the teacher. <laughs> It's just open. I'm just thinking of the people that said they will teach Peter Obi lesson. We will teach him lesson. He can never be president. Um, um, and then they cry. The person they say they will teach lesson. That one never even, uh, never even cry. In a post on his ex handle, formerly Twitter, uh, Mr. Peter Obi stated that he has constantly advocated for the training of healthcare professionals, especially nurses, recognizing their crucial role at the primary health care level and their significant contributions to the growth of the health sector. There are concerns that there will be an acute shortage of nurses, nurses both locally and globally, which our trained nurses can fill while providing adequate care for our teaming population. I thank the voluntary agencies for partnering with the government to improve our health and education sectors. I also appreciate the proprietors, management teams, and teachers of these health institutions for their efforts in ensuring that we have quality and well-trained healthcare professionals. Through our continuous investment in the critical areas of development, we'll be able to move our nation forward and build the new Nigeria we all look forward to. I know it, one of the things that just came to my mind as I just, uh, I'm just reading what Mr. Peter Obi has said that we can, and I've said this thing a lot of times before, is that we can actually begin to train people to go abroad. We have a lot of our doctors that want to go abroad. Why don't Nigerian government sit down and begin to train them? Let's put in more. If we have a lot of intelligent people who want to read medicine, but unfortunately, they are not allowed. Instead of these courses, uh, microbiology, let's resume, reduce the number of universities that we, and they use that other resources to begin to train doctors. Instead of doing courses like anatomy, physiology, let's not do them at all levels. Uh, sorry, at a first course, let's let have more of, this is the same training, medical training, and then you can do anatomy, physiology at postgraduate, you know, postgraduate uh, level, you can then go and do that. While we do all of this, we'll be able to uh, have a lot of uh, doctors, nurses, and all of and they can all go abroad. They'll be sending money, but they'll be remitting money for, uh, to Nigeria. It's a win-win thing. Let's train more to send more outside and also have more that we stay within. One of the things that it's not everybody that always travel abroad. It's not everybody that want to go to and it's not everybody that can, even those that want to do it. So there will always be people here. But let's intensify effort in putting effort in training these people. We have a lot of people who can be nurses. We have a lot of people who can be doctors. Most times they are frustrated. They, are not, they can't get admission even with their fantastic results and then we have people who have leg connection and all of that they get their children in and these children end up not even reading the course or even when they're actually reading it not practicing because it was never what they wanted